Hello. Today my presentation will focus on providing some configuration tips for Notepad++. As many users will be aware, two-flow models can be developed in a variety of different environments and one of the most common is to use a GIS program such as QGIS for the spatial inputs, a spreadsheet program such as Excel for your tabular inputs, and then a text editor such as Notepad++ for any text inputs. And my presentation today will focus on Notepad++ for those text input inputs. I'll start with showing how to enable syntax highlighting. I'll then uh, introduce file navigation within Notepad++ and also how to run a two-flow model from the program. Let's start with syntax highlighting. If you open up a two-flow control file uh, in Notepad++ without this enabled, you'll see that the syntax is all simply black text on a white background. And in this form, it's very hard to differentiate between different commands and comments. So I recommend you go to the website, go to the download section, uh, navigate to utilities, and towards the bottom, you'll find the syntax highlight file for Notepad++. We update this periodically as we introduce new features into TwoFlow, which subsequently have new commands. In Notepad++, click on the Define Language button. It has a lightning symbol. And simply click Import, uh, and then import the file that you've, you've downloaded. Now, having imported the file, uh, a dialog box will show up, which will show Import Successful. Click OK. Close out of this dialog and then also close out of Notepad++. You'll need to do this for the changes to be recognized by the program. Now if we open a TUFO control file, you'll see that all of our syntax is highlighted with a color scheme. TUFO commands are in blue, equals equals signs are in red, parameters or file references are specified in black, and then any comments are highlighted in green. It's much easier to read. Next I'll show you file navigation. File navigation through Notepad++ or through the text editor that you're using is preferred over using, uh, is preferred over accessing files through say Windows Explorer for the simple reason that it's guaranteed that you'll get to the right file location if you do it this way. If you go through Windows Explorer you may well open the wrong file by accident and change it with not, without knowing. Let's demonstrate how to enable file navigation. Go to the TwoFlow wiki, the link is on the right for reference. Scroll to the bottom to the Notepad++ section. Here you'll see that the third option is file high navigation. Simply go to that and I'd like you to copy uh, the highlighted text to clipboard. So simply highlight that text and copy it. Then go back to Notepad++. Click on Run and paste uh, the command there and then click Save and we'll associate a shortcut with this function. Most people use Alt Spacebar and they also, also usually associate a name with it. Uh, I'll type in Open File Relative but you can name it whatever, whatever you wish. Click OK and then Exit. Now if you highlight any of the relative paths within the TwoFlow control file and click Alt Spacebar, it will open up that file for you. Similarly, if you highlight the whole file name and scroll down to the Run option for Open File that you've created, uh, it'll do the same thing. So it's very useful for navigating between the different control files in TwoFlow. The final thing I'd like to show you is how to run a TwoFlow model from Notepad++. Now to start with, uh, I recommend downloading the latest executable from the website. Simply go to the downloads, latest releases, and the latest version. Uh, that being said, what I'm showing here will work with any version of TwoFlow. It doesn't have to be the latest version. Navigate to the wiki and once again scroll to the bottom right of the home page uh, to the Notepad++ section. In this section you'll find the second option, or the second link, within the basics subsection is ded dedicated to running TwoFlow. We'll be updating the run option in Notepad++ again 
And we'll do this by referencing the executable we wish to use, followed by some specific syntax to tell Notepad to uh, execute that program. Simply highlight and copy the syntax shown on the screen and navigate back to Notepad++. Click on Run and navigate to the executable you wish to, to run. After selecting this executable path, uh, place inverted commas around it. This way, if there are any spaces within your folder file, file names, uh, they'll be preserved. Oh, they, they won't cause an issue. After doing that, simply copy and paste the syntax we, we copied from the wiki uh, to the run dialog, and then give it a name. I like to give it the specific name of the version that I'm running. Then cancel out. Now you'll see it under the run options. You can click on the new two flow run command and that'll execute a simulation. That concludes today's presentation. Uh, in all the prior slides, you would have seen on the right hand side there were links to the two flow website, the wiki, and also the Notepad download. If you're someone who learns better through uh, reading steps uh, which are sequential in order, please refer to the wiki and you'll find that there's user notes that replicate everything that I've shown you here today. Otherwise, if you have any questions or any feedback, please email me at chrishuxley at or info at twoflow.com. Uh, and thank you for watching. See you next time.